Good afternoon, John Bjorkston, Amphenol PCB here. I'm going to assemble an RJF 5446 connector. This is the package that it comes in with the assembly instructions on the outside. And these are the parts that correspond with the, the uh, part. All the components. Uh, this is the insulator. It's a two part insulator. This is the backward gland. This is the back nut. This is a grommet that squishes down around the cable. And this is a telescoping uh, housing that screws into the back of the shell, the coupling shell. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put all these cables in the correct order on my cable. That goes on. This guy goes on. This guy with the flanged edge away from the front of the connector. Put the squish on there. I'm just give it a little squeeze right now. That can come on later. Now we're going to assemble the insert portion of the connector. There are two parts of this clamshell construction. I'm going to select the side, the left side, if I'm looking at the top of the RJ45 plug. Um, and I'm going to align uh, my housing to the uh, plug. This standoff is going to fit right into this notch right there. And this is going to capture the retention clip of the RJ45. So I depress the RJ45, I'm squeezing it kind of hard here. This is the mating half, it's got the clipping tines that are going to snap together to the other side of my clamshell. Snapped in nicely. This is uh, polarized, there's only one keyway. If you look on the left hand side, as I look at the top of the connector, if I look at the left hand side, there is a key right there which is going to slide into a notch on the inside of this connector. That notch is oriented towards the number one. There's a one, there's a three, there's a two, there's a one, two, three, and we're going to, uh, three, and we're going to align at the number one. And there's a notch right inside there. Just like this. Oh, I'm sorry, put that in backwards. Uh, so this is the threaded portion. This is the mating face. My bad. This is the threaded portion. So there's a line from the one right there, just like this. Snapped in nicely. Now I just. Thread my assembly together, just like that. That's it, it's mated. It's a completed assembly.